And here we got the Chevy 2 SS. Looks like uh, 327. Is that a 327 or is, what the hell is that? It? Yeah, it looks so big because the, the valve covers that are changed on it, it just looks so much bigger than that small block, but it is a small block because, you know, you could tell it's the valve covers would be much wider, but they're much higher than normal valve covers, so it must have a cam in it to, um, you know, with a higher lift. Yeah, 327 was the shit back then. There was hardly any 350s. I remember when the 350s first came out. What is that 350 shit? <laughs> it's, it's the same thing, man. Nobody knew that. Uh, probably a turbo 350 or 400. A little bit of a... We call it a uh, uh, fire extinguisher there. And... Uh, you know, it looks like the gauges are built in here. It's not stock gauges. Those are Stuart Warner autometer, autometer gauges. But they're put in the dash just like factory. You would think they're a factory. Nice, very clean job. Nice, very clean. Yeah, true. Super straight with black. Classic type wheels, drum brakes. Get your old vent mirror on it. Chrome uh, <laughs> engines. This car, this car got a few bucks in it, man, for sure. BF Goodridge. Weld racing wheels. Those are nice wheels. Very nice wheels. Classic style. Extremely, extremely straight body. Extremely straight. Gloss, I mean, these cars never look like this from the factory in a million years. They never did. Not with that clear coat stuff. Whatever the hell else is on here. Chrome shock towers. Hmm. And of course it's got some kind of HEI or MSD ignition in there. I'm not sure if it's electronic. I personally don't like electronic, but that's just telling me. I'm so familiar with the points, I like the old shit. That's the way I am. Aluminum radiator, electric fan. 